thing is, okay, I came out here so that I could clean. I wanted to clean my tent, my van. I don't think that's going to happen. It's not. And now I'm dragging dirt and mud into the tent because I have to go in there. <laughs> no more can I take it. It's too wet. It's too cold. And it's, and it's blusterous too. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, this is a taste of what's to come in this video. This weather became brutal. It's just getting started right now. But I'll let you listen to the very gentle rain before it starts pelting everything. It's an inside day. <laughs> I said in my last video there was bad weather coming and it's here. Got my laundry done and in between doing laundry and coming back out, it's cold and damp here in Quartzsite. It's going to be great though tomorrow. It'll be nice. It's just the way it is. It's going to be, the w and the wind's going to pick up here pretty soon. Okay, so it's an inside day. Doesn't matter if I'm in Tucson sitting in my van or courtside sitting in my van, out in the wild sitting in my van. When the weather's bad, it's an inside day. It just is. So the lesson learned on that is human beings need shelter, food, water, shelter. Yeah, and this is my shelter. Because it doesn't matter if you're in the city or you're out in the boonies. When it's winter, when the wind is blowing too hard, when it's raining, when it's snowing, or even in the summer when it's too hot, you need to find shelter. So, okay, I'm going to put my clothes away because I've done my laundry. Um... My laundry's done, let the spring cleaning get started, right. This is what the wind sound does, rain sounds like in the van. sitting here together enjoying the scenery. There's Paul's van. He's sitting in his van with Abby. Let me move this so you can see better. Oh, I got a new scarf I'll show you. Actually, um, thank you, Teresa. She got me a new scarf. And I'm going to put it up here. Let me find it. You can watch me put my clothes away, too. Let me bring this down just a little bit. I see it. It's blue. You can't miss it. She picked this out for me. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Okay. <laughs> I have a bungee that goes across here to hold everything down. If you want to see, these are my blank. These are my, um, I, I put my towels here. I have two sets of towels that I can put on the floor. And then I've got two wool blankets. These are wool blankets. And this is a, a Sherpa blanket. And then two pillows. Isn't this gorgeous? It's oh, so soft also. And it's also got the sparklies. 
<laughs> Thank you, Teresa. Okay, let's try this out, shall we? Got my backside. <laughs> What is, oh, is that gorgeous? I don't know if you remember, but I told you I did have a comment. It's no big deal, but I did have a comment. I laughed and they said, oh, quit trying to show your butt. Um, it ain't all that great anyway. <laughs> I know. Well, that's why Paul and I, we laugh about the butt shots, you know. When you're a nomad and we're in a small space, how am I going to show you anything if I don't turn around and do it? Yeah, I'm not trying to show off or anything. <laughs> it's just the, it's the nature of the beast, you know. So what do you think? I think I like this one better than the other one. This other one was way too long and it kind of hung way down on the sides, but this is like perfect. Thank you, Teresa. my puppy up here. Now you be good. <laughs> no barking. <laughs> there. You know what? I think I like this one better. Well, it's a little bit odd. This one probably matched this better, but I do like this one, this one, this one better. Okay. So this one, I'm going to fold up a lot of these small, see these small sparklies? They were coming up. They're all over my blanket down here. There's a sparkly. <laughs> yeah. Well, what I'm going to do tomorrow, let me fold this. What I'm going to do tomorrow is... Um, start the spring cleaning it's going to be nice out um i just hope it isn't muddy out that's one of the reasons i pulled up my tarps although that type pulled out pulled up most of my tarps i didn't want them to be all wet there well i can while i'm in here and it's the first of the month so I want to get some of my paperwork done today while I'm in here. Let's turn this on for some light. Blue. Everything's blue. And um, and I think I'm going to clean out a few drawers. I can get that started. I kind of want to decide what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep handy all the time. Because even my clothes drawers are kind of filling up a little bit. So, and I want to do a shout out to Ron and Deb. I met them at the laundromat while we were there. They recognized Paul and then he was looking around and he saw me. Well, okay, I'm going to leave the link to their uh, YouTube channel um, and pin it in comments. They could use some subscribers. Yeah, he said they have a few videos up, but they're regular nomads and they have a small trailer and they were really delightful. So hi to Ron and hi to Deb. And uh, this is their card. I'm going to go. Oh, this is their trailer. Oh, yeah, it's a small one. I'm going to go. It's called Road, Road's Roadhouse, Road's Roadhouse. So 
I'm gonna find that. I'm gonna um, follow the link and and go ahead and subscribe to them. You know, channels do need subscribers. It's not so much that's the thing that makes you money, but it just it helps feed you mentally. Like, okay, um, we need to keep going. It kind of is an encouragement. So I'm gonna get these put away and take a drink and. I'll continue on in a little bit. Paul gets these. I turned them on to him, but it is, it's green tea with citrus. The one thing I don't like about this is that I do believe they use um, corn syrup, and I really don't like that. But I'm thirsty, and it was here. He gave this to me, so I'm going to finish this see in a bit. Don't go anywhere. Okay, it's a terrible day, I'll tell you what. It's blowing the bejeebers out of me. <laughs> Good Lord. Holy shit. Excuse me. Again. You are my hero. Okay, I, I I'll be going in now. I can't take it no more. No more can I take it. It's too wet. It's too cold, and it's and it's blusterous too. I, I hope to tell you, I am I getting a point across, Lassie? Yes. That's wonderful. I I gotta go check a router, but I'll leave the door open. I want <laughs> yes. It's you, crazy. You okay? Well, I'll, I'll leave it open. I want to. We'll get a bill. <laughs> I think it's snowing, honey. You're right. Either it's snow or it's sleet. You're all wet. Go do. Go check for the router and then hurry back. <laughs> oh, you better shut my door. Oh my God, it's all raining. Right, yeah. Oh my okay, gosh. <laughs> This is the worst weather ever. It's cold. It's wet. It's windy. I mean, we've got everything against us out here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, one of the tent stakes on the corner just came undone. Oh no. Oh no. She's 
not warm yet. He's soaked. I'm, I think you should take your sweatshirt off, but you know. I'm not taking my sweatshirt off. I got nothing but a t-shirt underneath it. Well, go put on another sweatshirt. Oh. This is being filmed, by the way. <laughs> We're arguing. Well, I'm, I'm, uh, a, I'm not that wet. Okay, but I don't want you to... I, I don't know. Can you catch cold by being cold? I, I think you have to actually have a virus to catch a cold. Oh, yeah. We'll warm up here in just a minute. What a mess. Welcome to the elements. <laughs> oh, God. The next morning. It's freezing out here. After storm cleanup. The wind was blowing so hard yesterday I had to put 20 rocks to hold this tarp down. I'm going to move my minivan so that I can get away from any of the wet that was under my tarp and start fresh again. Water collected under the awning. Get my solar out and start powering up my oak mow again. Paul's going to move his van too so his rug can dry out.
Well, dealing with the aftermath of yesterday, that was some heavy weather. I mean, that was brutal weather yesterday. My goodness. I mean, <laughs> you saw, I mean, uh, Paul was pelted. Pelted. I had to come out a couple times. I wanted to check on what was going on inside the tent. And because we didn't box, totally box up our Starlink. So I wanted to make sure everything was okay with that. I was pelted. I mean, it just, it almost hurt. It was coming down. It, it turned into like sleet and it rained a very long time. So we're dealing with aftermath with our camping here. And it's really going to put me back on even trying to pull everything out of my van and clean it, which is with the real reason that I came out here. So, well, those are the elements. <laughs> those are the elements you have to deal with when you're out here. And it really does, um, it just, it's in my face, the reality that shelter, I mean, we always know it, but don't we take shelter for granted? Oh, we're in a house, oh, we're in our rig, we're in our um, RV, things like that. But if you don't have that, wow. So my minivan is very important to me. And when the elements are bad, which they have been for everybody this winter, I do have to stay inside. I have to shelter in. And so I've been, uh, I hope, I think I have brought you some really good content during the winter time, during the time when I have to shelter in and I can't be outside so much. Even um, today, it's, it's really cold out for March 2nd. Wow. In the Southwest, that's unusual. So I think I brought you some good stuff um, this winter. Hopefully next winter won't be the same. But I remember, let's go back to um, March 2nd. I had already bought my new, this this minivan, the Kia 2014, Kia Sedona. And I had bought that and I was here. I remember that I was hot. <laughs> I was wearing bathing suit tops. I was actually, Glenna and I were, we were trying to figure out how can we make ourselves a little baby pool so we could put some water in it and then we could go into town for 25 cents and get gallons and then fill up our pool so we could set in it. It was that hot. Now today, literally, I've got two layers on and it is really only about um, in the 40s and it's already 10 o'clock. So this has been a very cold winter looking back. And I know you all are dealing with it everywhere. Well, except um, on the um, uh, below the southern hemisphere, you're dealing with summer right now or getting ready for winter. Yeah. So if you're there, I'll tell you, America, um, the um, northern hemisphere has been dealing with a lot. Well, I know in the United States we have. So I hope you enjoyed this. It's not going to be a long video, I don't think. I haven't edited it yet, but I'm sure that it'll be just fine. And I won't go into long explanations of every little thing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's not this, uh, gl it's not this glamour time out here. It, um, I got some cleanup to do. I had to bring down the awning on the tent. We rolled it up this way instead of rolling it under and water just collected on there. It's going to take a couple of days to dry this tent out totally. Yeah. And now, see, <laughs> the thing is, okay, I came out here so that I could clean. I wanted to clean my tent, my van. I don't think that's going to happen. It's not. And now I'm dragging dirt and mud into the tent because I have to go in there. Yeah, so the opposite happened. This is not a cleanup. <laughs> I'll have to go back to the city and kind of clean up. I think what I'm going to do is I know where that one parking lot is, and I think that I'm just going to have to pull out. Nobody will bother me. And I'm just going to have to pull things out of my van, redo, get my summer stuff out, uh, put my winter stuff away, and kind of really scrub up, um, yeah, the minivan. 
I love you guys a lot. Until tomorrow, everybody, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Go to minivanlee.com for products, net gaiters, glasses, exercise videos, and I got the book. It's on Amazon. But there's a link on minivanlee.com. Bye, everybody. I love you.